Hello again, I am Blunty and I am a broken and hopelessly damaged man. I have opened up a swirling vortex of misery, defeat and regret because I watched the Twilight movie and I did so out of pure morbid curiosity. I had to see what all the fuss is about. And I have a history of avoiding these kind of overhyped things because they can't possibly live up to the massive hype and, and these ridiculous, obsessed fans that just blah, 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 vomit forth all this crap about it. And on the other side, you've got the haters who vomit forth all this hateful stuff and you're thinking, it can't be as good as they say it is and it can't possibly be as bad as they say it is. And it just annoys me so much, I just went, you know what, I'm going to avoid the entire issue and forget it exists. When someone talks about it, I'm just going to change the subject and walk away. I'm going to stop listening. And I did that about like, to Titanic, James Cameron's Titanic movie. Dude made, uh, I mean, I avoided it for, for almost a decade. And I finally succumbed and watched it. Oh, right. What's everybody waffling about? And I watched it and it was immediately swallowed up by that vortex of disappointment I mentioned before. Just <laughs> regret and disappointment and hopelessness. It was awful. Awful, awful movie. And did the same thing with Pokemon when that was a big hit. You know, the, game, the original games on the Game Boy. Wow, Pokemon! All right, what's the fuss about? I'll give it a go. That worked out for me. I quite enjoyed playing the Pokemon games. Lost interest for it now. It's bleh. But yeah, Twilight, okay, huge, biggest thing at the moment, all right, if you're a teenage girl or whatever, and I know I'm not the target market, but I watched anyway to try and figure out what the attraction is, and I don't get it, I really do not get it, it is a badly made movie, if we just ignore all the story and, <laughs> story, <laughs> ignore all the stuff in it, and just deconstruct it as a piece of cinema offered up, for deconstruction it is badly made it is badly edited there is no consistency the logic is bad it's just a poorly made piece of cinema if we talk about the story it's awful i was stunned vampires are awesome that is a fantastically rich creative law there's lots of room to sort of play with and grab the clay that is the vampire mythos and mold it and stretch it and you can do some fantastically interesting things with that but uh, is it Stephanie Myers who wrote this? Uh, she's managed to take everything that is awesome about werewolves and vampires and just throw it out the window and off it up the steaming raped corpse, husk of a corpse of what was left and go, here you go. Here's what vampires are for this particular generation. And I was like, no, <laughs> what have you done? That's horrible. That's it's it's repulsive. It is insulting to anybody who enjoys literature or movies at all. It is just so bad. And I don't know how anyone can look up to any of these 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 characters. Bella, the, the hero or heroine of the story, she's ridiculous, weak, pathetic, muddled, just dangerous individual. She needs to just end it all. Just spill her juicy, tasty blood everywhere and let the vamp who's it Jacob or who's the other one? Neither of those guys are interesting either. They're just hopelessly empty, thin, watered down versions of what could have been an interesting, a vaguely interesting story. And I don't get it. I need you guys to explain it to me. If you are a Twilight fan, why? Please, I need to know because I've tried to deconstruct it. I've tried to look at it. I've tried to say, well, you know, I thought maybe the people who enjoy this enjoy it because they can relate to these characters and they get something out of it and they see something in their life reflected in that. But I, I feel sorry for anyone who actually does that because these characters are so just one dimensional, empty, hollow husks of, of just awful, lazy, pathetic, bad writing. How does this woman get published again and again? How did it get popular in the first place? I understand if something gets popular in the first place, no matter how badly written it is, you're going to get more fucking books out so the publisher can make more money and the author can make more money. But how did it get popular in the first place? It is an awful piece of literature. Who pushed this out to the publish? Who made this popular in the first place? Who are these people who enjoyed this dross? I don't get it. And I'm physically angry that I had to expose myself to this just horrible piece of filmmaking to try and fathom it and then come away from it just confused and revolted and still no better off for understanding the phenomenon that is Twilight. 
I don't know. I did do do do. It's, it's affected my 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 capability for speech. <laughs> Watching that movie has made me dumber, and I feel really bad for a friend of mine. She was around here the other day, and we saw a a, a tie-in advertisement for a fast food chain and New Moon, the new movie that's coming out, and we we're talking about how ridiculous is that. And, and, and we got on to talking about Twilight and I said, well, I, you know, I watched it out of curiosity and I've said to her pretty much what I've said to you now. And guess what she did? She went away and watched it that very night and regretted it instantly. I told her not to watch it, but the mere fact I discussed it with her made her want to see it for herself, just like I had to see it for myself. And I feel horribly guilty about now exposing another person to this just abortion of filmmaking and literature. And I'm sorry for that. And if you're watching this and you haven't seen Twilight yet and you go, well, it can't possibly be as awful as Blunty says it is. I've got to check it out for myself. Don't. Please do not. Because I will not take any responsibility for half of your brain exploding spontaneously out of sheer misery. <sighs> that said, I've met some lovely people who do actually like the Twilight series. I still don't know why they like it, but they are relatively well-adjusted people, so not everyone out there is a drooling moron who enjoys this. I just, I don't understand why they enjoy it. <sighs> Catch you next time. Twilight sucks. Just sucks. Like the vacuum of space. Like a vortex opening in the vacuum of space that sucks the vacuum from space. It's that bad. It really is. <laughs>